Rand Paul accepting donations in Bitcoins. Former Nike CIO joins BitReserve. Oliver Jensen and the Bitcoin Foundation's wows. Here is the news bit. Bitcoin donations have been helping homeless people, Ebola patients, Edward Snowden and hundreds of other causes. Now Bitcoin will be helping US Senator Rand Paul fund his 2016 presidential campaign. Rand Paul's decision to accept Bitcoin sets himself apart from the rest of other politicians and he's the first political candidate to accept Bitcoin for campaign donations. It is so great to see his efforts towards Bitcoin acceptance. And Tony Watson, former Nike CIO and member of the exclusive Fortune 40 under 40 list, has joined the Bitcoin bank BitReserve as president and chief operating officer. Let's take a look at the vision. We believe if you can change money, you can change the world. Just as email replaced mail, digital money will one day replace the money we all have in the world today. What BitReserve does is make using digital money free and easy. Watson said, I am thrilled to join BitReserve at such a pivotal moment in the evolution of cloud money and financial technology. It is really interesting to see such high profile people joining the companies in the Bitcoin industry. This clearly showed the growth and beliefs the space holds for the future. There has been a lot of controversy surrounding the Bitcoin Foundation over the past few days and all the facts are slowly coming into perspective. From the information we have gathered, it has become quite clear the Bitcoin Foundation has lost track of its original purpose and as a result of mismanagement was forced to fire most of the people making it up. On the Bitcoin Foundation forum, Oliver Jensen says, The Bitcoin Foundation does not represent Bitcoin in any way. It has historically hired some Bitcoin developers, lobbyists and organized a conference. I was elected on a platform of transparency and decentralized of core development. Since the beginning, the Foundation has been sorely lacking any transparency of its actions. The Bitcoin Foundation is effectively bankrupt. We are going to monitor this story and let you know the news about the Foundation. Many thanks for staying with us. More news from the crypto world are available on bitcoinis.net. You can read right here next to me. After checking out our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter channels. We would highly appreciate that. See you next week. Bye bye.